Hey guys! Welcome back to my new Photoshop tutorial. All the elements used in Thio's tutorial are modified and manipulated by myself. Here I am using the latest version of Photoshop 2019. All the stock images that I will use in this tutorial, is free for you guys to download. Just find the link from the description box below. If you enjoy the video, and if you find something new, don't forget to hit the like button at the end. A short disclaimer for the one, who are new, to Photoshop and editing. I would suggest you to slow down the playback speed of this video, because I am going to be a bit faster. So without any further we do, let's begin. As always, begin with size of 8 by 10 inches. Import the background image, to the document. Now import the subject to the document which I have already extracted. In case if you don't know how to cut out the subject from the background, watch my video. I will leave the link in the description box below. Now we need to match the subject or model with the background, and for that, camera raw filter is best. You can also use any adjustment layers if needed, as I used curves. Now we need to create some shadows of that subject. To do that, create a new layer beneath the subject or model layer, take the brush tool, black is the foreground color, paint slowly and gradually as shown. Don't forget to lower down the opacity of the brush. To match the overall colors of the subject with background, copy the background, go to filters, blur, average blur, and set it to overlay blending mode and clip it to the subject. For adding brightness and shadows to the subjects there are several methods. You can follow my method as shown in the video, or you can use your own method. Now import the t-shirt print design PNG, transform, and clip it to only affect the subject or model layer. The steps are all optional. Here the t-shirt of the model was looking very plain so I added some design. Using Liquify, adjust the crease and bends of the designers of the t-shirt. Liquify is a big subject to explain. Someday I will make a separate tutorial on that, if you need. Comment down and let me know. Use Blend If, to give it some realistic look. If you don't know how to use Blend If, watch my tutorial I will leave the link in the description box below. Follow the same method if you want to add some more elements to the t-shirt or the subject itself. Now open the rusted alphabet image into the Photoshop and remove the white background using magic eraser tool. And cut out the alphabets using lasso tool, and then drag and drop it onto the main file. Adjust, transform, and texturize if you need. Use perspective transformation if you want it to look like it's right there on the wall. Give several shadows to give it some realistic look. Select every layer related to alphabets, right click, and convert to smart object. Now apply some blur to make it look out of focus, but keep in mind it should be as blurred as the wall. In my case, reflection on the glasses, was very weird, so I selected it and filled it with black and kept that layer on color blending mode. Above all layers, import fog layer and adjust the opacity as per need. Now import the white light PNG and transform it to set it on the headlight. Duplicate it and set it to other light. And set it to screen blending mode. Adjust shine on t-shirt. And do some skin retouching if needed. Now merge everything together on one layer, by pressing alt Control shift e and convert to smart object and do some basic adjustments with camera raw filter, and my favorite Analog FX Pro from Nick Collection. If you aren't already following me on Instagram, then click the link in the description box below. That's it for today guys. Goodbye and stay creative. To get notified every time I post a video, subscribe and hit the bell icon, and don't forget to like the video. And this was my final result that I uploaded on my Instagram account.